current AI models are indeed machines. Machines trained on certain data sets from certain places and at certain times. Knowing this, we can come together online and triangulate objective reality with each other to prove our humanity. Our brains are constantly producing models of the world and check those models against sensory input. Current AI models cannot do this. They don't know any facts, people, or world events that came into being after their most recent round of training. And they don't feel the world like you. They don't belong to communities. They don't reflect on themselves and their history or enjoy the richness of sensory experience. By communicating with each other online in a way that reflects the aspects of humanity apart from intelligence, we can simultaneously have more grounded interactions and be sure that a human is on the other side of the screen. Finally, we can distinguish ourselves in the dark forest by becoming what Appleton calls algorithmically incoherent. Large language models like ChatGPT only work by sequencing words that are the most statistically likely to go together in response to a prompt based on vast amounts of training data. Because of this, these models hedge and generalize. In other words, they base it. This gives real humans an opportunity to reclaim one aspect of internet culture that is still the most fun, creating internet-specific culture. No language model will be able to keep up with the pace of weird internet lingo and memes, Appleton writes. Using jargon, euphemistic emoji, unusual phrases, in-group dialects, and memes of the moment will help signal your humanity. 